Am I live? Hang on. I think so. Am I live? Can't tell. No. <laughs> hey, everybody. I am Melissa Murrow with Rave Home Staging and Rave Home Collection. And we have a surprise um, pop up live event here. I kind of mentioned in our Facebook Friday uh, live that we might stream live today or sometime this weekend. And we're testing it to see if we can use it for our regular live events, which are Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Because they allow us to stream live on Facebook and YouTube at the same time, it won't be any more putting YouTube on several days later. Um, and while well, I am so busy, I am not good at that. And so you'll often see them go a week later. Um, so I'm trying to get them where I can stream them both at the same time. And this also allows people to comment on both platforms and we're able to see them for, what's that mean? Yeah, four people watching, oh, yeah, five people. people. Watching. Hi, these are live. We weren't actually 100% sure if it was working and we are live. So if you could to help us out with testing the features, please let us know where, where you're watching us from. Are you watching us from Facebook? Are you watching us from YouTube? And what part of the country are you watching us from? So now that I've gotten all of that out of the way, so you kind of know what's going on and if there's any tech glitches, we apologize. This is a new system for us that we are testing. I am going to work on putting this gorgeous transfer on, um, on this full size headboard. And I'm trying to remember what it was called. This is Ruby, Ruby oh. Rose or something like that, I think. Um, we were thinking about adding this to our Facebook Friday and we didn't. So we took it out of the tube and I don't know what happened to the tube actually to say exactly which one this is. So we'll get back with you on which one it is. But um, I did think that this mint color, this was the beautiful and something was minty. And since I had this piece and I haven't yet done a transfer on it, um, I was kind of waiting to see if it would sell out of transfer because I was torn as to whether to add one or not. But it's been here a couple weeks and it hasn't yet. So we're gonna have this gorgeous transfer. I kind of mapped it out there. These are not in perfect layout. I kind of mapped it out to see how I wanted it and get some basic spacing. So what I'm gonna do then is this is the piece I'm gonna start with. This is actually a six panel transfer. Oh, thank you. Um, oh, this is Violet Hill. So weird, I can't see if I'm centered now or not. Oh, you're pretty good. It. Okay, good. Um, so this is Violet Hill. This is actually a, a six panel transfer and I'm only gonna use four, which means I have the other two panels for other projects, which I love because um, I like to put transfers on basically everything. everything. Uh, it's kind of become an obsession. I admit, when I first saw the transfers in the mold, I was like, what would you ever use these for? And then I got to playing with them, and now I just stick them on everything because I love them so much. Okay, so I'm going to take these additional ones off, and we will be adding them later. Um, but it's easiest for me if I'm only adding one at a time. So I'm just going to start with the upper right, and then I'll move to the upper left. And then I'll move down. So I'm going to start with this one. And I have this one pretty well squared out, I think, which is really what I was working on, getting the spacing right, because um, these are sort of layered pieces. So now what I want to do is I want to carefully take this backing off. There's the clear sheet and the backing. And I want to take this backing off and then get the clear sheet off on here and transfer that and then sort of work my way through. So I'm going to try to keep this together as much as I can with exactly where I have it registered, which is the tricky part. I'm going to say this is the hardest part of the whole process. Ready? Okay, go. No, no. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. We're good. So now I'm just going to try to make sure I'm still level and square. And you could actually use a level. I do have a level behind me, but I'm usually pretty decent at just eyeballing it, to be honest. Um, nice, it looks pretty good. Right here. Cassie's watching. Hi, Cassie. Okay. So I will go ahead and check this here for a level down here at the bottom. And it is pretty darn level. Okay, good. I can forget about that. Okay, so now I'm just going to. Gently rub it with my hand from outside to inside to get it to kind of to adhere. So this headboard was painted with fusion, uh, fusion mineral paint. 
Um, and so I didn't have to talk code at first because Fusion has a built-in top coat. If you were using chalk paint, you would want to make sure that after you painted it, you added a top coat before you did this, or what will end up happening is that your the dustiness of chalk paint or milk paint will actually adhere to the transfer instead of the transfer adhering to the piece. So a top coat is important, except for when you're using a paint like Fusion or Wise Out One Hour Enamel, because they have built-in top coats, so you don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to use the stick that it came with. And this is a lot like doing um, like temporary tattoos or like Easter eggs, the little transfers that you see for your ink pods and spray kits, where you see them put little flowers and stickers and stuff on them. Um, we're literally just adding some pressure with the stick, and this is going to transfer this beautiful image to our headboard. Just take a little bit of elbow grease. And there are some little ridges and valleys here. I'm just going right over them. And what I'll do is I'll just sort of press them in when I get to taking this paper off. Or I should say plastic. So you want to kind of cover the whole thing really well. And for me, it's okay if when you pull this up, if you get some little cracks or whatever, I always love to distress basically everything. Oh, but this bed is so beautiful and pristine. What? But the bed is so beautiful and pristine. It is, but I still like to distress basically. Okay, so I'm going to start now that I've got, mm. I feel pretty good about this. I'm going to go ahead and take the tape off over here. And I'm going to start pulling the plastic lightly. And if I see any of it lifting, then I'm just going to lay it down and use my stick or my fingernail and just make sure it's all adhered. These edges are always the hard part. And then once you get to the middle, it gets a lot easier. But if you're being slow and gentle about it, then you can always go back and lay it right back down. And it will stick perfectly. Whatever, I'm not sure. Just go back over with the stick. It's pretty easy. The only time it's a problem is when you're being a little too rushed. So the slower you do this, kind of the better. So, what's everybody doing on this Sunday? How are you doing? Did you do anything fun? Did you go to the yard sale? Did you go thrifting? Did you do any painting around your house? I've totally lost it. She's gone off somewhere. She was monitoring the comments of the conversation. We might want to consider doing a direct link into the system, like you were saying. Is, are we losing internet? We're getting some lag, so it's cutting back in and out. Okay. So it might help if we are directly. Yeah, I was a little bit worried about that because our Wi Fi, I don't know, our Wi Fi is it's sometimes really good and sometimes really sketch. And with so. nobody here, it should be working fine. Well, I tend to blame Comcast for that more than anything. <laughs> so as it's coming off, I'm just going to use my finger to burnish this a little. Burnishing is basically just sort of rubbing it down with your finger. And that's just in case, like, I can see some of the little loose edges. And I just want to make it only if I don't have to. I don't make it act a while. Um, it's not. But there's a lot here. There's a lot of little edges on this intricate. Since there's all the words and everything, it's not one giant piece, it's like a whole bunch of little layered pieces. And so the easiest way to mess it up is actually to, to just go too fast. So just try to take it real slow, and if I see anything lifting. And sometimes factors can um, make a difference too, like uh, 
what your piece was coated in. So this was that infusion, which does typically have a nice smooth surface and is easy to work with in that way. But sometimes also it has um, the top, the way the top coat is, I do find it sometimes a little bit harder to do the stencils. They just don't want to stick as well. I should say the transfer, these are stencils. But when they're on, they're gorgeous. And the nice thing is, is that they really do disappear on this. Um, Cause all of these little transfers have like a little halo edge effect. I'm curious, can everybody hear me well with this microphone? Uh, it's louder, but still kind of eh. Louder, but still kind of eh. Who was that? That was Cassie. Okay. I have my head turned She's away. our test subject today. Thank you, Cassie. Yep, yep, thank you. I'm glad you were on the computer today. <laughs> Duh. Duh. I need that. I need that. Didn't realize you had pockets in that. I could have just put that thing in your dress instead of hanging it off your back. That's all right. I know. Who doesn't love a dress with pockets? Uh, we sell these dresses here at Raymond Collection. They're part of our new, our new um, collection. Your own costume collection. Those are comfortable, cute, and very affordable, which I love. Who doesn't love comfortable, cute, and affordable? It's like the trifecta. And the pockets, it's even better. Look how pretty that is on this color. And Cassie, I did notice that we had subtitles, and they are nice, aren't they? Oh, do we have subtitles? And thank you, you. I, we, we are so happy people love watching this. Yay. I didn't know we had subtitles. We have subtitles. That's awesome. I wonder how we set that up. I don't know, but it's pretty awesome. Oh, that's a fun feature. Well, hopefully it's it's you know getting correctly. Uh, so now I'm gonna line this one up. You can see the edge there. So I'm gonna line this edge up with that. And then to keep it level, theoretically, it should be level because hopefully we did this level. Michelle Finnamore says, hi, hi Melissa. Hi. It is, well, I can't really see you, but good to hang out on a lovely Sunday. You must have been busy all week. We've been missing you. Yeah, and we're out <laughs> seeing this week. Doing my hand. Hi. Yeah, that feels pretty perfect. Looks good. All right. Same stick. Same stick, different part. Natalie Spencer says that is going to be amazing. Hey, have you tested trying to put their comments up? Put them up where? Up on the screen? I don't even know how to do There's a way to highlight the comments. She says, Michelle says, so glad you're Sunday night as I have time to watch live. <laughs> it's definitely been crazy busy last week. Awesome. Um here we'll show we'll show that one. See if that shows up. Oh, it showed up! Look at that! Woohoo! Yeah, there's some fun features, which is one of the reasons that we're trying to use this. We're trying to, you know, be able to make our lives even more fun for everyone and more interactive. And give me more to do. And give, well, she's always here. Yeah, I think we have a little more to do, a little more interaction. Right? Hey, we're working on a whole studio area, so we're going to have a designated studio area. 
um, next week or so. We actually made a sign, like the sign for our front window by the front door. That's going to hang on the foot, going to mount on the window, stick around the back wall behind us, a code sign. We're working on a chalkboard, so we can write some things each week to remind you of, you know, whatever it is you're talking about, like a contest or what have you. Michelle says that she promises she's going to do her first transfer later this week. Oh, yay! Which one? Which one? <laughs> oh, yeah. Which transfer did you get, Michelle? It's okay that you didn't get it from us. You just tell us anyway. You're in Canada. We forgive you. Although I did ship to Canada. It'll probably take forever. <laughs> As our post office is breaking down. Yeah. I'm just going to avoid that on top of the conversation. We're going to avoid. Now, see, I have this little itty bitty piece here that didn't make it on the bed. You probably can't see it, but I guarantee you that I will save that and you will see me use it in a future show because I save all those little base scraps and use them on something. I have like had a single, just a single uh, number. That I've used on one that wasn't, um, it was just like a leftover number kind of thing. <laughs> I love the little zippy stool. I know the zippy stool is my face. Um, and I got this free from you, mine. We ordered a bunch of parts and stuff for the warehouse and for the store. And when you spent over, I don't know, it was like $800 or $1,000 or whatever it was, then you got something free. And one of the items that you could do free was this little stool. And then like a month later, I had bought more stuff. And I had some more racking or what have you. And uh, I got another one for free. So now I have two free ones. I mean, of course, I paid for them because, you know, it's like I ordered stuff, but it was a gift of purchase. Natalie, I'm going to figure out how to put credits up here. My name's going to be under all of them. Oh, Producer, director. I can put credits on there. Put the Sweet. Produced by director. She used to tell me that she wanted to be, um, she wanted to work in production. Little did she know. Hey, it all comes back around to your dream, right? That's right. All right, living out here is a heck of a lot better than Hollywood anyway. How about others achieve their dreams and you'll achieve yours too? Here, give me have that. So I'm going to burnish, yep, so I'm going to burnish this area. Sorry. I'm going to burnish this area. I just lifted. What, what have you got? This, this, this is, this is the little, That's the little piece I said I was going to say. I don't even know if I've got that in the right picture. I don't even know if you can see that with the glare. It's just a little. That's what I said I was going to say. I'm going to use my stick to kind of push this in along this little ridge. Kind of burnish it in there. <laughs> Michelle says she hasn't bought it yet. Still deciding between florals like you're doing now or the B one. And then Natalie responded, Michelle, just buy four different ones like I did. <laughs> and then jump in. <laughs> there you go. Good attitude, Natalie. That's Good right. attitude. Get in there and do it. Natalie's working slowly but surely up there. All right, next one. This is where we start to get a little trickier, trickier, trickier. That's all right. Now I got to kind of work this down below here. Okay. And the key to this is kind of making sure that you don't let the whole thing touch until you're really secure where you want. Oh boy, is that a key? <laughs> yeah, I see about that. Could be some stories. Yeah, I think I think people have seen seen my work. Seen the stories? You've seen the stories? If you haven't seen my work, you should go back to some of our old videos when I'm on. Yes, we have some time to time when Teresa thinks she has to take a vacation. Days off, you know, things like that. So I'm gonna move this table off the top. I really don't want it sitting on top of this newly done transfer. 
I'm a little bit nervous about that concept. All right, back to the so you'll notice this is a little bit longer, and that's okay because with it being just a little bit longer, well, I could have scooched this up a bit. As you see, I'm already pushing the edges here. By letting this hang off the edge, it's going to make sure that if this isn't a hundred percent straight at the bottom, that I don't have it like going up at an angle. With it going just slightly off, it actually helps me make it look more level because nobody will be able to tell by this completely. But if I have a line at the bottom that goes like this, because there should be another transfer under here, so it's not open like this, um, nobody will be able to notice that. That's a little professional tip. From my standpoint, it looks pretty doggone well lined up. I like that. And you're you're overlapping just a tad. Just a tad, um, and that's so that the lines match up. You can see just a just a hint of the overlay right here. And what I've heard that some people do is actually cut that that off. I am not brave enough. Um, maybe when I've done this for like more than a year, I'll be brave enough. But right now I'm not brave enough. And that little tiny line, I don't think anybody's gonna know this right now. I certainly don't see it from here. <laughs> huh? I certainly don't see it from here. I mean, you really have to be looking to see it. You kind of have to know it's there. The thing I like about these big full ones when you get down to like this middle edge is because you start not as much. First, everybody joining. Are you joining from YouTube or are you joining on Facebook? So everybody's sitting at home on your Facebook today. And if you're joining from one, if you have the other, you should pop over there and let us know if it's any different there than it is on when you were previously. Ooh, that would be good because I haven't looked it up on YouTube. I think I'll try that now. I'm going to start trying this again. Peel it off slow and steady. That was my bees. Your game? Yes. Which I'm not playing right now, I promise. I'm trying to find my YouTube. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know I can't be trusted when it comes to my games. Sue so and I had to go deliver a table yesterday and for a customer who ordered one and system wasn't set up properly for shipping so we delivered ended up delivering it for free which was fine it wasn't i mean it wasn't way far out of our way but it wasn't a big deal but i had to promise i had to bribe her to go playing pokemon gotta get my pokemon going wherever i can so yes she is a big phone game player especially pokemon Hey, Deborah Jones, hi from South Wales. Hey. Oh, the baby's up. Natalie's gone. <laughs> bye, Natalie. Good to see you. Say hi to Bunny. The baby's so cute. South Wales. That's a long ways from here. I Welcome from South Wales. I don't even know where that is. South of England. Part of Great Britain. I am geographically, ge geographic, geographically challenged. We're under Rave Home Collection or Rave Home Staging? Rave Home Staging. You mean you don't subscribe to our YouTube channel? I don't watch YouTube. That's true. We don't watch my YouTuber drawings. While she plays her games. It says I'm subscribed though, so.
in the flowers or a piece of cake, the words or something else? Because these words, it's really hard to tell from far away probably, but they have all these little dots around them. Like it's um, like it's smeared or warm. And all those little dots each have their own little piece. So it's very, very tricky. It's tricky. Seems to be the, about the same sound and quality and everything that we've got going on. Again, it's still a little uh, chunky on the, okay. the chatting and stuff. Okay. So I, I, I definitely think that if we hardwire and we're, we're good. Yeah, we'll just need them to put in a port. Hopefully he can do Well, I mean, I know he can't. Hopefully he has time to do that. So Willie, my daughter's husband, I was going to say boyfriend, but they got married. They did. They got married. They got married. And Deborah, I see that you're watching on the YouTube channel and not the, the Facebook channel. Is that correct? Oh, that's cool. You can tell. Uh, well, I can't see all the comments from uh, Facebook on the YouTube channel. But for whatever reason, I guess they all come into they all come into the central. They all come into the same central. So that's that's pretty neat. But you can highlight either one, right? I think so. And it'll come up on both screens. Let's see. We're only the one that came. Yeah, Michelle, if you go into uh, the Rafe Home staging, it pops right up there. I thought, yes, and she's a YouTube addict over there, Deborah Jones is. <laughs> That's very nice. Yeah, we're see. YouTube crazy too, which is one of the reasons why, why I really wanted to get this on streaming live on YouTube, but you have to have a thousand followers. And last I checked, we were at like 685, I think. Or not, it's 585, sorry. Like 585, we're thinking almost six, but 585. Um, so we, we don't quite qualify, but with this StreamYard program, whoops, with this StreamYard program, oh, I'm working with, we were, <laughs> we were able to do that, so. Oh, did you just wrap that under? Yeah, I just pushed it right under. Oh, sweet. I was think, thinking you were going to have a whole bunch on the bottom left over. No, I just I just wrapped it right under. And I'm going to seal this for me and put it in the soup so I'm going to have a little color with it. So I'm just going to burnish with my hands. And burnishing again is just basically um, pushing it down, trying to get rid of all the air bubbles, make sure it's nice and flat. Um, when I'm done with this 100%, we're going to go on to the top coat on. I'm not going to have to do that live for you guys because... I mean, you watch enough paint drive during the week, you don't need to watch it on Sunday uh, with us. But I just wanted to, again, test this, and I thought this would be a fun way to test it because people seem to love the transfers, and we don't we usually have time for any of the really big transfers like this. Deborah, we love watching the tutorials on YouTube as well. That's how we spend our nights. <laughs> oh, no. Nine o'clock on. It's unusual for you to come to our house and find anything on but YouTube. We've watched woodworking, we watch painting, we watch we watch everything. Everything, yeah. Um, yep, a lot of DIY on our on our YouTube. So I want to finish this. That'll be available. It is two twenty-five for a full headboard footboard rail. Any little girl will feel like a princess with this lovely bed. We were calling it the jasmine bed before. Is it still jasmine with I all the flowers? It's not going to be jasmine anymore. Because now that would feel confusing. Woo, look at that. I don't know. Can I see it? Oh, yeah. There we go. Looking good. It's always nice when you get to that panel and they all line up. That's a good feeling. Okay, hey, this last panel hopefully will go. Pretty Yay, fun. Michelle found us on YouTube. Yeah, I have two more videos set to premiere. They were Facebook Lives originally, and then I'm um, going to try and get that edited on piece up tonight so that it'll go live. It'll be premiered on Wednesday. Oh, when we logged in this morning, John and I saw that you had one scheduled for 1 o'clock today, so fun. Didn't watch it because I wasn't at home. 
<laughs> Did you try to do some mirrors when I got them on YouTube? It is 11 o'clock in Wales. I hope it's a nice yeah, evening. Yeah. That would be PM. Geographically challenged. I remember when I was, this is, this is a sad story. So there'll be no mocking of me later. Oh, there will. Oh, there probably, yeah, you probably will. So when John and I were engaged and I was 17 or 18, because we've been together that long, and my mother asked me what we were thinking about for a honeymoon, not that she was going to help with it, but um, what we were thinking about for a honeymoon. And, uh, and I replied, this is the part you may not mock me later. Well, you will, just please not to my face. Um, I said that I thought I really wanted to go to the Poconos because I thought going to Europe would be a lot of fun. <laughs> okay. That might get some ridicule and mocking. What? So that might get some ridicule and mocking. So... You did watch Dirty Dancing as a youngster, right? I didn't know that was the Poconos. They only say it in the movie. Good thing you have people in your life that, that are a little bit more geographically minded than you. Yeah, I Keep really didn't crack lost. where Carmen San Diego was. <laughs> Wales is definitely a place I would love to go see. And I'm just guessing it's not near the Poconos. No, I could not drive there. I could drive there when I am there. But a, a big month-long trip all throughout Great Britain would be so fun. I would love to see it all. I really want to do one of those tour company those companies though, because I feel like they don't let you spend enough time on the things that you want to do. <laughs> they rush you through. I mean, everybody run. Get your sneakers on. Like I really want to be able to do what I want to do in more places. I know when we went to go see Chitsunitsu. Chitsa, how do you how do you pronounce that? Chitsa Nitsa. Chitsa Nitsa. How do you pronounce that? Chitsa Nitsa. Um. Anyway, I, it was like what, like almost two hours to get there, almost two hours back, and we had like forty-five minutes there to see everything. Ran in, took a snapshot, and left. It really was insane. And it was crowded as all get up. Okay, guys, so that's done. What do you think? What are you thinking? What are you thinking? Gorgeous. How do you feel about it? Absolutely gorgeous. Um, the only thing I have left to do is to add a top coat to the whole thing. Um, what do you think? Do you see my seams? Do they look good? I haven't zoomed in, so we're, we're so, not it. So we're distance anyway. I think if you were lying in bed, you wouldn't be looking for them. I think this is really lovely, and I think it's perfect for any little girl who wants to feel like a princess in her bedroom. So thank you for tuning in today on our little pop-up live, and thank you for dealing with our little um, tech adventure and experience, and hopefully we'll be able to learn from this and create that too will be our regular way with our phones. And then Sue and I are gonna work on a couple things to try to, including getting this hardwired um, to go live regularly with our with this program. We paid for a year of it, so we're gonna make it work. Um, we definitely wanna figure it out. And we've got all the equipment for it. We wanna figure it out, but um, we'll kind of go back and forth. We appreciate you tuning in. Thanks guys, be sure to hit subscribe and like if you enjoyed today. Bye guys, thanks. Bye guys. Figured out. Maybe.